Generic greetings and welcome back to Airport Architect. Sorry, I mean, I mean, it's an airport, obviously. So, in the previous episode, we managed to not go bankrupt, which is always an advantage. We got in a CEO's office, which is obviously not furnished. We haven't put proper flooring in and things like that. We just got it placed. Actually, sorry, CFO, not CEO. And we put in some vending machines, which is actually making us a fair bit of money. If you look at this, we've got vending machine income in the last nine minutes, uh, 180 generic units of currency, and then bring Previously before that, another 55, then before that 25, so we're actually getting a lot of money from that. We do really want, however, some proper reporting so when it comes to finance, and where is that going to be? Uh, we've got multi-lane access, which is changes airport entrance and exit to be two lanes of higher throughput. Probably need to do that at some point. Uh, we've got finance and bank loans, operations, which is, you can say, hire a COO, a chief operations officer. Pricing, road building, upgradable buses. Don't know where it would actually be. Um, pricing would be affecting that. See, we can't do anything there. Over here we've got bank loans. We've got heat info. What's this? Visualize the effect of knowing emitting objects have on passengers. It, uh, well, the flight info display should have info, but it just doesn't. Not really too sure then. Not really too sure where the reports would be if they even exist, which it doesn't look like they do. Um, learn operations, pricing, road building and upgradable buses. No. We're going to have to go for double lane, that's for sure, because at the moment we do have some issues there. And in terms of flights, we are doing alright. If you go to scheduling, you see we've got a little bit of uh, a gap between 4 and 5. So let's try and sort that by going over to airline interest. And you can see we've got some nice airlines opened up here. The ones that we haven't got are all down the bottom. And it's things like uh, it requires more interest from passengers, needs a large gate, things of that nature. So we need to go around, check any afternoon flights, and obviously we need to be able to accept them as well. So the Galactic Point one, good paying, but they've, all, they've got very big planes. We just can't have them here. It's not that we, it's not just that we don't have the gate for it. It's that we don't have the throughput. Like um, we don't have the security and stuff like that, which we did have a problem last episode. So we'll have to check that as we progress on here. Let's just have a quick look. Going back through these, I think we've got all of the flights we can have, you know. I think we are pretty much maxed out on the flights. Uh, yep, we can have no more flights. Okay, so we need to probably start opening up some other ones. This one here is a Smart Air Lux, which requires a runway PAPI, which is a path... Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know. Let, let, I'm not going to lie. Upgrade PA. PI, pa Precision Approach Path Indicator. Well, I got, I said path, but I just said it in the wrong place. Where do you place this path indicator? Um, increase safety. It goes wherever, does it? Does it, or do you place it like there? Do you just place it wherever you want? I think you just place it wherever you want. So I'm going to put it there. And um, how much was that? Seven grand. So actually not that much to open up what we uh, will have here. There's loads of people coming back through security. You can see our security desk is not big enough. Nowhere near big enough. So we do have to focus on that really this episode and expanding that. But that is going to cost us, well, more money than we have. Now we can change this. We could if we wanted to. Um, get rid of a lot of these metal detectors and such and then shift them up and around. But honestly, I don't think it's going to work. I think the best way of doing it is to expand it. Because we're going to have to expand it anyway, considering the amount of stuff we're going to have. There's the PAPI put in, so we can then go over to Airline Interest, and we should have some more flights available. Uh, I just don't know what they would be. Um, there's a 777. This is the uh, new thing that's involved, I believe. That's okay. Smart Airlux, this is another one. Two night flights, again, those 747s and 777s. Um... That one we can't have. This one, WestJet, does have one flight, but nothing there. Pacific Airlines, that's a morning flight. We can't accept, is it? Because now you have to have an ATC a tower to accommodate more than 10 flights a day. Ah, right. So we have got 10 flights then. Afternoon is a 777. Need a bigger gate. So, 747. God, it's massive, that 747, isn't it? So I guess we can't have any of those. And most of this stuff here... 
Need more interest from passengers. Yeah, so we just can't progress. We just can't have any more than that. And I don't know why these are really pissed off. They say arg, but again, we don't have any uh, readouts. I'm just going to check. No, there's no in there. Research, there is... Nothing in there. We are going to go for operations, though, to hire a COO. Actually, we do want road building, but we do need COO, so we'll go for that. There you go. It'll take some time to actually get done, but that's fine. Um, in terms of another gate, I really do want to build another gate, but you know what? At the moment, it's probably not the way forward. It is probably not the way forward. Considering that we can only just get the number of people through security uh, that we have now. I don't think it's going to work. I also, I think, want to go to queues and remove a uh, shrink queue, and I want to shrink this entire queue. I did expand it in the first episode, but looking at the time it takes for people to come around, I just don't think that size of queue is strictly necessary. So that, because it's it's taking them about 30 minutes to get around. Actually, let's, should we time it? So we'll wait for the next person to go around, and it is you. So one, two, three... No, didn't even count that speed. One time speed is actually a little bit slower. So, it's taken... Uh, 10 minutes <laughs> for her to get halfway. It's about maybe 18 minutes, in t 18, 20 minutes in total just to get to there. So, yes, we don't really want to do any more than that. Max speed. And we will get some more people in here. So... What else can we build that we haven't in terms of objects? Well, you've got cash registers, you've got things like that that we obviously haven't done. Um, increasing capa capacity of garbage zone would be good because, oh yes, as you can see, there's a lot of trash bags there. That's just, a, you just place a dumpster in it, and yeah, I think we'll, we'll actually place a couple of those because this is starting to fill up. We'll just place the one. We've got kitchen sinks, things like that, which obviously we're not going to place yet because we haven't got a kitchen. We have an outdoor gate, a door for the fences of the area. All right, so you can place them over here. That's fine. Sinks and such, we don't need that. We've got the restrooms in. Um, ticket and kiosk, we've already have. No, there's not really nothing really that we need to do at the moment, other than wait for our uh, wait for our money to roll in. Hmm. Click to see information. Click to see more information or take a loan. Just, yeah. Doesn't tell us how much we're spending on detailed reports. I thought it did, you know. I really thought it did. Finance. Conduct additional research and unlock various finance related utilities such as advanced reports, bank loans, low taxes, and improved profit margins. But as far as I can tell, that doesn't exist. The the whole advanced report. Or if it does, I, I can't see it. You would think it would be in reports. It, um, it ain't. Oh, well. Unless I've totally missed something out. By all means, if I have, let me know. Yeah, nice, nice money from this one coming in. That's very good. Very good indeed. Are we fully staffed here, by the way? Uh, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three. Yes, we are fully staffed. So people are getting through... At a reasonable pace, I think, on security. I think they are getting through. Yeah, it seems to be. Seems to be okay. Uh, how much would it cost to place the lovely flooring around here? Two grand, okay. Let's get that done because I know a lot of people have been asking about that. So I think it makes sense. We have almost got... Oh, we have got operations. We can hire a COO. So let's go to build foundation and we will expand so it'll be that and hopefully it'll place it won't place a wall there and if it does I will delete it actually uh, that's just put us on zero essentially zero cash but we do have more stuff turning up uh, that means we got 50 minutes less how many is that is that fully oh, 101 boarded yeah that's fine so we got we're all maxed out there and there's another plane coming in. You can see it just sort of six, sits on the taxiway. That's pretty That's pretty good. Overall passenger satisfaction is quite high. There's only really the rest need and the hunger need that aren't being fulfilled properly. And the way to fulfill that would be... Oh dear. Yep, we're going to have another problem with security. Yeah, look at that. Loads of people at the security desk. In fact, some of them are just walking through. Are they? Some of them do seem to be just walking through. I'm guessing 
that if you don't have any luggage, you can go straight through? I don't know. That, that, that doesn't seem right. But either way, there's going to be a lot of people missing their flight here. Damn it. Um, I think I know what the solution is. And actually, it's not increasing the size of our security. It's actually shifting them over to the left and putting another row in here. Now, that doesn't make any sense because you would expect them to line up here and then go through this bit. But in reality, as long as everything's in this box, it's all just about the size of it. So, I think that's what we'll end up doing. We'll dismantle the metal detector and move it to the left and then put another one in. Now, whether or not we get these bits back is really up for checking. So we'll destroy the metal detector, destroy the bag scanner, and then we'll go back to metal detector, and we should hopefully have some cash left to place it. We'll put one there, and one... How big is that? It's going to be one, two, three, so we want it uh, there. Okay. And then type in bag. Don't have enough money. Okay. So what is that? That is just supplies one bag scanner. So actually then, we should have that. Baggage scanner. Not enough money. Yet we have a baggage scanner there. Ah. Oh, that's a bug. You have to have the money in order to place it even though you might already own it. I don't know if you saw that. I placed this first baggage scanner and it immediately... Uh, it, didn't, it didn't deduct anything from our balance. But then when I placed the second one, which obviously we didn't have any in the stock, it then... Uh, it then paid for it. It bought it. Uh, we're now on minus balance now. There you go. Oh, it's fixed. Problem solved. I'll we'll go to staff and secure... I'd like to say security, but we don't have the money for the staff. Two grand for security staff. Okay, interesting. But look at that. People are actually using this. And by the look of it, this is... Bag scanner is functional. It's not even getting checked. There's nobody there to operate it, which is very, very strange indeed. Um, ID check stand, what I'm going to do is place like a double set, like so, two, two, and two. So one, two, and then three, like that. And then have, obviously, move these to the left a bit and do it that way. That's the way I think I'm going to proceed. I'm trying not to take any loans out. I don't want to go down the loan route. I'd rather do it um, the way we are now. But the problem is that is a little bit slower. But... Mm. I'd rather do it properly than taking out a massive loan. It does look like it has placed the wall there, which is a bit of a shame, but that's not a big problem because we can just go through a door. Place said door in, go to build, go to clear, which then removes walls, it says, and leaves indoor flooring. So we'll leave that like horrible concrete there. And we've got $6 remaining. Um... It looks like we've got severe weather alert, chance of thunderstorms, chan high chance of precipitation, high wind. Hmm. Don't know what that actually does in terms of the flights and such. I'm guessing some gets cancelled, but hey-ho. So, um, it does seem to be that the... These scanners operate themselves. Them scanners are operating themselves, aren't they? Let's destroy the bag scanner and destroy the metal detector. And obviously place it again. Um, where was it? There? It was there. And there. And then bag. Uh, bag. One, two, and then obviously we will hire some security staff to operate these. But this should be massively increasing the security throughput. It should be doubling it, in fact, because we're having double the amount of machines. So we would hope that that works. As you can see, though, they are happily using the machines themselves. Now, <laughs> I would like to say... Maybe that's a security issue, and actually there could be just... Uh, it's like an honesty system. Yeah, 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 I'm not carrying any weapons as he's toting around like an AK-47 or whatever. Or an AR-15 or whatever assault rifle slash generic firearm he wishes to carry. Or she wishes to carry. They wish to carry. However, I think it's just a case of bugs. <laughs> yeah, you don't need them staffed. 
because um, you don't. So bag scanner, we're going to destroy. Metal detector, destroy. Obviously going to go back over objects, type in metal, and then we will place it. Is there, is there a forward? I'm guessing there's a forward. I'm guessing it's that. Um, and bag. Scanner. Don't have the money, but once we do have the money, I'll be able to place them. I can hear one landing. As soon as this lander, we'll have enough money. One there, one there. There you go. So that should have that should have massively increased our throughput in security. Not that it's really affecting my rating as far as I can tell. But anyway. Right, so we're going to go over to the office and type in office. Get ourselves an office chair. An office desk. Apparently an office desk is very expensive. 1,500. Wow, okay. Money. So... How we sort for security? Security is fine. Apart from it's understaffed, we need at least, I would say, two more staff. But there you go, that, that person actually checked themselves in. And then they have now gone back through the secure zone over to the food vending. Maybe that's an issue. Maybe putting food vending around here may be the way forward. Let's destroy a garbage bin over there and put some food vending around here. Maybe they do have to go through back through security. And then come back and forward. Maybe that causes a lot of problems. Never thought of that, actually. I never thought of that. Maybe that is the case. Alright, okay, let's try. So, vending machine. Uh, food vending machine is 3,500! Well, I guess it's more realistic pricing. I imagine a vending machine, a food vending machine, is quite expensive. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, flights are still coming in. This is all working. This is good. Go over to zoning and type in office. Put an office in like so. There we are. Um, currently don't have any... Well, it doesn't tell me what type of office it is because we haven't hired the person involved. So it's a CFO, which is a five grand for a chief... Fine. Oh, we've got a CFO. Uh, for a C... Oh, oh, it's five grand plus 100 hourly. Research, operations, logistics, and upgrades to tools. Not that we uh, have any of that. There's the garbage issue again, as you can see. This is on max speed, by the way. This is how slow the garbage person moves. It takes hours. It takes about half an hour for them to go from the garbage truck and back. <laughs> and because of that, look at the pileup it causes. And that's why a lot of people are probably missing their flights, you know, because of this garbage issue. I don't know what the solution is. I don't think there's any solution. I think it's just that's what the game is like at the moment. Uh, the only thing that can help it is putting in, um, not upgraded buses. Upgraded buses will help because it will reduce the amount of vehicles on the road. But multi-lane access is going to be very, very good as well. That will really increase our throughput. Speaking of throughput, we can see that uh, the security does seem to be working. I... Would like to say let's hire some more security to operate these security machines, but it doesn't really need that at the moment because of bugs, so... Do I go ahead and do an honesty system, or do I keep my money? I think I'm going to keep the money. <laughs> so still, not a lot of cash. There we go, there's enough cash for me to get staff and a COO. We now have a COO. So in terms of research, we can get more stuff. But also, I believe now we do have... We might have more airlines. Um, I'm not too sure. Might have more... We will have more airline access. You do need a COO at some point. There, as you can see, more jets coming down. Lots of terminal usage and rail usage and such. It'd be nice to alter our pricing. Um, how much airlines use for your runway? Um... Pair passenger as well. Be careful. Some airlines uh, are more cost sensitive than other airlines. Airlines may decide not to work with you if your prices are too high or expensive for your airport. Maybe it's best then if we actually go for pricing and then we can charge a bit more. Because at the moment we're not charging anything extra, really, are we? We're just going as is. There's the security extension working well. As you can see, nobody's really standing about. No. That's fine. That is working, I think. I would love to place some 
no, no cancellations there. I would love to play some vending machines here, but I think the nine grand is going to go on this research, which is going to be pricing. Some people are saying arg, and they've headed off. I don't know why. It doesn't tell me. I'm guessing they've just missed their flight. I'm guessing that's all it is. Let's have a quick look. Uh, 144 of 145 boarded, so one person has one person has actually missed their flight, or has not turned up. I guess you could class that as missing. But anyway. Now, we probably could go around and probably thin out some of the planes and say, right, well, let's cancel let's cancel some of the planes that we have and get better planes, like more people. But I don't know if that's a good idea or not. I don't know if we're messing with what we've currently got that we know, for the most part, works is a, a fantastic idea. I don't think it is. I don't think it is at all. There's still more planes landing, which is all good. Another gate. An another gate. Would another gate help? It just means they can go to another part of the airport. And you can have more flights, but then you need really more runways. I mean, actually, you don't need more runways, because you have to think that the plane are only really using utilising the runway essentially every couple, of, every couple of minutes. So it takes... Let's have a quick look. So it's one, two, three, four. It's about five, five minutes, or five seconds, really, for it to take off and land. So the rest of the time, it's at the gate. Uh, that might be the way to go. Might be the way to go. Either way, we'll go to our objects and vending. And we're going to put food vending in here. And we obviously, we've got trash just opposite as well. So hopefully, that'll be okay. They will be able to uh, put some trash in there. We haven't got the trash issue we had right at the start of the series where it was just rubbish absolutely everywhere. It seems to have... Uh, Resolved itself. There's loads of people coming out, going to the toilet, obviously, and nobody's used that vending machine yet. I'm guessing they will. It's now fully boarded. It's a night time when, oh, yeah, night time when they pick up the garbage and nothing much happens. Uh, how many janitors do we have? I think we can... Do you want to start thinning out some of the janitors? I don't know. I'm very tempted to sack like a lot of these security staff because we just don't need them. They don't need to. You don't need someone operating the metal detector or the baggage scanner, but we know that that's a bit of a glitch. I also think that the uh, the estimate is disingenuous at best. <laughs> uh, it tells you expenditure. It tells you flight ops income. And obviously we've also got the vending machine income, which it doesn't include there. Yet, I don't seem to be... I don't seem to be uh, making much money at all. And I don't know what the solution would be. Hmm. Is that vending machine getting used? Uh, I think someone did go there. Oh, look, that queue is very, very long. They just stand outside the queue, so you don't need a longer queue. They'll just, they'll just, pile, they'll just stand outside it, as you can see. This is the uh, 767, which is boarding, and, oh, it looks like there's only 30 minutes left. Is everybody going to get on board? I think they are. It looks like they're about right. And 200. Only just, but, you know, it did it did work, and they're off. Whee! There it goes, flying off. Excellent. And there's some more people going arg for some reason. Don't know, because that was full. It's a bit strange, a bit strange. So, six grand, in terms of uh, progress for pricing, almost there. I want to alter the pricing um, before... Not anything else, but I do want to alter the pricing sooner rather than later. I'm very tempted just to get a hundred grand loan and just go max out on the, uh, on the airplane gates and stuff. Make another gate, put another queue in. I think that might be... It means we can get more planes on here. I think... That is probably the way to go next episode. Get a massive loan and just go maximum on it, as hard as we can go. Get another airplane gate, put it here. Another uh, like gate agent and stuff and this like um, queue, and then just get it done. Just get it done. If it doesn't work, it didn't work. Um, we're you know pretty much in debt and series would end. But, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see how that one goes. I don't know if our security desks will handle all of it. They seem to be okay for the time being, so 
Maybe that's the way forward. Maybe not. I don't really know. Go over to pricing now. So we should have access to it, which we do not yet. Hang on. We'll go research. It is... Oh, no. Pricing is complete. So we can go to pricing and we can alter this. So you can say runway usage income. We can charge more. So I'm going to um, increase it by a little bit. So that's changes made. Now let's see if planes start to cancel. Oh. They've all went arg and turned around. That's not good. I don't know what that would be. I'm, I'm still looking at the transactions and it's not telling me that something's being cancelled, which is what we were wanting. Well, we're not wanting cancellations is what I'm saying. So... Uh, they are landing. That's a plane landed, so it looks like these guys are okay. A Ford Air seems to be fine with that. And will we be okay there? I don't know. We should be alright. Not a very big plane that, but it's okay. Another plane landing in. Again, no cancellations. So you've got terminal usage and runway usage, and then there's another takeoff there, and then vending machine income. Yeah, so they've seemed to, they seem to have accepted the new price. Doesn't seem to be any major problems there good right I think we're gonna leave it there that seems to have uh, been okay I'm tempted to start upping the pricing until uh, to a point where they will cancel and then narrow it down and we know where that is as I said though we, we don't have any bearing on like how much we can affect this like how how much can we alter this thing it says there, be careful, some airlines are more cost sensitive than others. Airlines may decide not to work with you if your prices are too expensive for your airport. Does that mean that it will cancel the planes or does it mean that some of these will not, it'll say something like too expensive? Don't know. We just don't know. So next episode, what we'll do is we will get, uh, I think we'll get a big loan. We will get ourselves a, is it an ILS or is it a tower? I think we need a tower, I think it's a tower we need actually. Uh, which is that one there. You can see it's very, very expensive. But it allows more than 10 flights a day. So we'll have a tower. We'll have another terminal. And we'll have, obviously, another gate agent. And then that should hopefully give us enough to uh, really progress on. And make boatloads of cash. And maybe eventually we'll get the problems with this road sorted. We do actually have enough money for that now, don't we? Road building. Uh, build and demolish roads, no. I want multi-lane vehicles, requires road building. So it's 16 grand plus that, no, it's not worth it. Too expensive for my liking. God, we're actually making decent money now. Excellent. Anyway, next episode, all the things I mentioned, there we go. Might work, might not. We will see. As always, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.